Whoa. Whoa, what's my name? What day is it? Where are we? Oh, oh no, I get it. Yeah, I remember. We're at Fright Fest. Um, day four? I'm not actually allowed to tell you too much because I think it would give too much away. Um, actually, it's quite hard to categorise it, isn't it? It's like David Cronenberg meets Mike Lee meets um, Carpenter meets other things. It's taking Chris Christmas, like your arguments with the family uh, that people always have, to that extreme level. We try and leave to go back home for Christmas, but we can't get out because the house is encased in a weird black material. And then the TV starts to... Um, throw up a message that says stay indoors wait for further instructions a creepy message like a green eye like message people are getting what it's about that it's a uh, you know religious indoctrination uh, media indoctrination fake news whenever you come here you just get to see the passion that's behind the genre and i just think it's really nice to see i was fortunate enough to do the premiere in new york last week and it is this is 10 times bigger than that yeah. which is which is mad i've not been to Fryfest before so this is lovely i love all the uh, all the strange people dressed up everywhere. I really love seeing all of the people who actually get dressed up as characters. I sort of, yeah, I turned around, I was like, whoa, what just happened? <laughs> Crazy people wandering around, like dressed up as people from Saw. He's looking at me now, I'm like, ugh. Oh. I'm explaining why I've bodied is in Fright Fest. It's a difficult one, because it's probably the least genre picture we've ever shown. Well, on a certain level, bodied is a horror film. Right, uh, it kind of is, yeah. It shocks you and horrifies you without without anything physical happening on screen. Yeah. And that was actually the intent of the movie. I really wanted to see if I could uh, horrify people by, by bringing them in, making them laugh, getting them comfortable, and then suddenly sucker punch you. I mean, I'm showing this at a horror film festival, <laughs> and it's a battle rap comedy satire about free speech. It's a home invasion thriller about two couples who go on a romantic getaway that turns out to be not so romantic. It is uh, an interesting, intense uh, film. It's fun to make. This film especially was like a giant dig into horror and giallo and the history of home invasion and contained thrillers that are in one location. So I watched hundreds and hundreds of films. Are you happy about having your film being shown here at Fightfest? Yeah, these are my people. <laughs> like, I couldn't, like, this is great. You know, you know what you're getting? Like, these people love horror. This is a great audience. I would be an audience here as well. So it's like, it kind of feels very homely. I feel very at home. The man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. The man who killed Hitler and then the Bigfoot. I felt like the title tells you everything that you need to know about the movie, and I think that it spoils the movie. So if the audience is coming in, they know it has to be about something else. And it was also a lot of fun to write music for that because it wasn't necessarily what the audience is expecting. The audience seems amazing, and both screenings sold out, and I'm looking forward to sitting down and watching it with them and just seeing how the reaction is as the movie progresses. I am so happy to be here. You know this. Because you joined us through the snow to be the UK premiere of Tigers Are Not Afraid in Fright Fest Glasgow. People just went crazy over Tigers. They it, did. There was tears. Yes. It was and gorgeous. I think the person that created Tigers is at the same time the woman I am now and the little girl of eight that wanted to believe that there is more to this than this. It has touched some extraordinary people, like Neil Gaiman has mm -hmm. come out publicly on Twitter and stuff. Stephen King, Guillermo, yeah. of course. Guillermo. The fact that your heroes stop to see what you did with the beautiful food that they gave you all these years, mm. and they say to you, you did well, kid. <laughs> it just, it just, honestly, you feel that you're going to die a lot happier. The film centers around this futuristic white torture chamber in which Shauna McDonald wakes up. It starts with a woman in a white chamber. We don't know who she is, why she's there, and it all goes a bit horribly wrong. A voice on the outside sort of starts demanding answers from her, answers which she claims she doesn't have. Um, so he starts using the gruesome high-tech functionality of the chamber to torture her for these answers. We are experimenting on human beings to see how, what, what they can survive, what, the, what human tolerance level is. And Candice is one of the two and, people uh, that we experiment on. And the pain threshold people can have um, when under these drugs. It sounds really brutal. It's, it's pretty brutal, you know, it, gets, it, gets, it goes to some dark places, but, you know, that's, that's why we're at Fright Fest. <laughs>